Greetings Greetings from the Lone Star State of Texas. This is your Bible teacher, Pastor Chandler Freeman. I'm going to use as a subject today, despite delays and death, Jesus never fails. Hmm. Despite delays and death, Jesus never fails. Uh, My principal text comes from the gospel, my favorite gospel, the gospel of Mark. I'll commence reading verse 20, the 23rd verse. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter, lie it at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay the hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. Verse 35. And while he yet spake, there came from the Ruler of the synagogue's house, certain, we said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master and the further? As soon as Jesus heard the words that were spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Mm-hmm. Father, I pray that we will believe and not be afraid. In Jesus' name, amen. What happened before Jesus got to the house? Jesus had healed the woman who had an issue of blood. That's the first thing that happened. And certain from the house of Jairus told him when he was coming to the house that Jairus' daughter had died. You see, Jairus, that his daughter was dead. The news was first-hand news. It was hope dashing news. It came from certain who had come from the house of the ruler of the synagogue. The news was not fake news, but the news was bad news. The news was sad news. The news was fear possessing news. And the news was disturbing and disappointing. And secondly, Jesus spoke in the midst of disappointing and sad news to Jairus right away. After certain had come to him from his house. It is so important for Jesus to speak to us right away. When we have received bad news that makes us despair. Bad news that is so depressing. Donnie McClurkin, Pastor McClurkin said in his song. Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit. Give me the words that will bring you life. Words on the wings of the morning. The dark night will fade away if you speak to my heart now. Mm. Secondly, what happened when Jesus got into the house? The sight at the house ain't pretty. Tumult was at the house. Wailing was at the house. Death was at the house. And those who wept greatly were at the house. And before the house you have to deal with what you hear before you get to the house you have to deal with what you hear and when you get to the house you have to deal with what you see in life you have to learn to deal with what you hear and in life you have to learn to deal with what you see the things you hear won't always be pleasant and the things you see won't always be pretty but then what happened when jesus got into the house Jesus started talking when he gets into the house. He has some things to say. But what did Jesus say? You know, a lot of folks focus on what did Jesus do and what would Jesus do. Now I'm telling you, what did Jesus say? The little daughter is not dead. You see, Jesus' reality is different from the weeping people. Jesus' reality is different from the folks in the house reality. The folks are crying. And then when Jesus tells them the little daughter is not dead, they started laughing. They started to make fun at Jesus. They ridiculed Jesus. They scorned Jesus. And so Jesus had to put all of them outside. Allow me to tell you about Jairus' house. 
the house of the ruler of the synagogue, the house of a rich and influential man, the house that had a mother and a father. Perhaps the little daughter was the only child or only child house, the house where the father and mother listened to Jesus. It is a terrible thing for the mother to love Jesus and for the father to not love Jesus. It is a terrible thing for the father to love Jesus and for the mother to love the world. The house had father and mother working together. Many marriages fall apart when both parents are not listening to Jesus. Relationships and friendships work when partners work together. But what happened when Jesus got into the little daughter room? Few made it into the little daughter's room. I want to be a part of the few that makes it. A lot of folks will never make it because of their doubt and scorn and laughter at the things of God. But I want Jesus to take me on a journey to the next level. And I want Jesus to take you on a journey to the next level. Few enter the little daughter room. Mr. and Mrs. Jairus. Peter, James, and John, not forgetting the master Jesus. In this particular pericope, Jesus is addressed as the master. Why trouble the master and then further? But you see, the master had entered the room. You see, Jairus had asked Jesus to come and lay his hands on his daughter. But now Jesus enters the room and see the 12-year-old daughter, Jesus speak words of life. Arise, arise. I say unto you today, arise. And I say unto you today, arise. Despite the delay and despite the denial, arise, arise. Jesus never fails. Jesus never failed Jairus and his wife. Jesus never failed the woman with the issue of blood who touched him. Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth will pass away, but Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails, and Jesus never fails. God bless you. Continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Gospel Rich TV, and be blessed. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray that you will not fail your people. Your mercies are unfailing, and they are new every morning. Bless your people now, despite the denial, despite the delay, and despite death. We know that you never fail. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.